had a dream, but she gave it up for me. And my sister raising kids, man, that ain't a cup of tea. Now she ain't have no cheese, but to Gusta Chuck E. Cheese. Somewhat of a G, living life so sucker free. Told her what I wanna be, she was cooler than the breeze. Supportive as a beam, cause I knew she had believed. If it were up to me, she'd be treated like the queen. A life of luxury, filled with shiny pretty things. Now, I was only three when she brought me to the States. My sister only one, crossing borders wasn't safe. What she did was very brave, I think about it every day. From Argentina to Mexico and finally LA. Yeah, she made it really far, someone give her an applause. Got herself a job, an apartment, and a car. But the struggle isn't over, so I keep doing my part. Straight spitting out them bars, that'll get us. My name's Steven Pham, also known as Famish, um, from a small town in Louisiana. Um, I started at the age of 10. Uh, I was inspired by my brother Kevin Pham, and um, I just started from there, and I just started growing, and I became more hungry, and I'm still hungry. I'm just ready to learn, I'm ready to share, I'm ready to grow, I'm ready to help others grow, and I'm just, I just want to uh, actually reach out and just do something that hasn't ever been done before. But I want to do it my way. my style is basically like uh, growing up I'd watch I started watching popping first but I mainly just I was really intrigued by the concept of waving so I started waving first and then from there I started watching tuts and um, gliding floats I, I've just tried to adapt to every style I see because I'm a visionary learner you know what I mean like honestly like I have no foundation in my dance my foundation is, is just what I know I don't know the exact, you know, the specific things about like, like certain techniques. Like I really don't know. I just do what I do and I move, and uh, I just learn from how I see. But overall, I describe my style as, as abstract, meaning like I let people perceive it however they want to. I think being the best is being the best in you. You really have to compete with yourself. You really have to judge yourself and critique yourself in order to grow. You can't grow comparing yourself to others. Everyone has their own path and everyone is successful in a different way. You can't copy and paste that. Well, my purpose for dancing is, is, is pretty simple. It's just to continue to evolve as a dancer, as a person. And um, I just want to uh, build myself to the best man I can be. You know, for my family, for my my friends, my crew, Gung Fu. Um, and uh, my vision would have to be 
just to share what I do with others and I, w I truly want to help others get the recognition they deserve. If I'm making, I'm bringing genuine, talented people with me. Like, I want to show the world, I want to show the world people that don't get that recognition. Like, I feel like there's so many people out there that don't get any credit for what they do and I believe people deserve it, you know what I mean? And a lot of people are underrated, you know, and uh, I just really want to collaborate with people, different artists, rapping, singing, dancing, painting, filming, anything. Anyone I can collaborate with is, is like truly a blessing because like you get to communicate, you get to build relationships, you get to network, and you get to just, you know, continue to grow and inspire others. I mean, it, it's something that we all share as artists, you know I mean? I think everyone is an artist in a sense because, you know, everyone does something art-wise if you think about it. It's just, it's just how you, how you see the world. I just see the world as one big canvas. advice for anyone out there pursuing their craft or anything would just have to be just it's, it's one simple word practice you gotta practice practice is key to everything it's uh you gotta put your heart and your mind into that practice you know what i mean you have to put blood sweat and tears in that practice like you gotta treat that practice like it's your last practice ever and uh practice 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 you gotta practice what you do in order to get where you need to be so no matter what you do, don't ever compare yourself. Um, don't ever live up to anybody else's standards. Live up to your own. Set goals for yourself. And don't compare yourself. I'm saying it again, don't compare yourself. A lot of people compare, compare, compare. And that doesn't help. That only limits you. So just practice.